Hello, Dudes and Nuts, and welcome back to Fallout 4. When we last off, this is not where we were. In fact, there were a lot of shit that happened uh, before we got to this point, so I will quickly catch you guys up before I continue along. Okay, so, Virgil told us we needed the brain of a courser, right? So I went and got... I went and tracked down the courser, and I killed it, and all that junk. And then I had to bring it back to someone, so I brought it back to the railroad, because I felt like they were the most adequate people to deal with this sort of thing, since they deal with scent stuff all the time. So, I brought it back to them, they sent me to go take it to, um, um, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, he literally just fell out of the sky a few minutes ago. Tinker Tom. Tinker, it sent me over to go and talk to Tinker Tom. Tinker Tom... Uh, decrypted all the stuff in the synth brain thing, and we had to build this teleporter in order to um, go to the area that is programmed into the synth's brain, the courser's brain. So now we know the location of the institute, and we can teleport there. All right, now that you're all caught up, let's go and do this shit. And hopefully, after two hours of recording, I don't have another fuck up with my mic, which mean, which will hopefully mean that I won't have to go back and cry for another, like, four hours or so. Shut up. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go talk to, uh, Dez. Status report. We got activity, Dez. Not sure how long before peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, you need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. About Patriot? Good name. I like the name. Sounds encouraging. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps Synths escape to freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works, and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. Now, you said you don't know if it's a guy or a girl, yet you keep saying he. I don't understand why, but okay. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Tom's what happens if it's a woman? And then you'll have all this time where you've been saying he, and you'll look like a giant idiot. And probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? I think I can. How do I infiltrate them? You're going to have to sell them a lie. It's best to stick as close to the truth as possible. And you're going to have to think on your feet. We don't know what's waiting for you. If you make it at all. Okay, bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Alright, I need the I need the knuckle popping knuckle cracking button. Which button is the knuckle cracking button? Cause I just did my knuckle cracks and I am ready to do this and I think my guy is ready to do this. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Bring it on! Oh, I can't move. Is it going? I think it's going. Stand still. We gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm making make myself dizzy. Contact Patriot. Oh man, uh, don't worry. That's, that's all part of the plan. Oh, Shit. Do whatever you can to gain their trust. <laughs> what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can about synths, about the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the R up. We got it. Yay. Oh! Nobody else can. Now. Um. Woo. Ha ha. We're here. The 
molecular level. Alright. Am I here alone? I am here alone. Oh, lord. It looks very... clean. Okay. It's hard to believe there's no one around. I would have thought there'd be, like, a secretary here or something. Computer terminal? View access log. Um... Interesting. Hello. Oh. Hello? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I know. I try. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Maybe in a little bit. <clears throat> ah, sorry. I am quite tired, and my voice is as well. <laughs> it's a weird looking camera. I didn't need to take those folders. This is the chair? I thought it was like some sort of lab table. Inaccessible. Okay, well. Wait. What? Ugh, I shouldn't. Ah, God, I need to stop, like, taking everything I just find lying around all over the place. Clean room suit? What does it look like? Oh. That's interesting. Um, I'm gonna put my stuff back on. But I am going to take off my helmet and my sunglasses so I can look presentable. There we go. It's been a while since I've seen my own dude's full face. Okay, then. I like the look of the place so far. You've done quite well for yourself, Father. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. Not all good stuff. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Really? How so? Welcome to the Institute. Ooh. Ooh. This is the reality of the Institute. This place. These people. The work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. Hello, people. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground oh There's too much at stake here to risk it all as you've seen things above are unstable you're telling me i'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone uh-huh but that can wait you are here for a specific very personal reason you are here for your son uh-huh. Who told you that? Sean? Is that you? Hold up. I'll, I'll talk to you in a second, boy. Uh, a spanner? What the hell's a spanner? Applicator? Ear examiner? Tweezers? God damn, this place looks fancy as fuck! Ah, science! <laughs> okay, that one requires a key. Um, so is that one. Alright, so, I don't see any escape plans. 
inaccessible. Can I push the button? Sean? 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 Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Uh... <laughs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Uh... Uh... Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Um... Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! If... Uh... What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Uh... Sean, please, calm down. I'll get you out of there. Not what I wanted to say. Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Yo, you gonna talk to him or what? S923, recall code... Cirrus. What? Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's what the fuck did you do? Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Um... Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great... Damn right I traveled far! Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. What? How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten? But 60 years. That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute. And now it's later. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far, the human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Uh, hmm. I think I get it. I think I see where this is going. Then perhaps you already understand why it was necessary for the Institute to acquire me. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. 
in this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. Wow. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Um... How did Kellogg... Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Eh... <sighs> Like... He was a murderer. He killed your mother. Believe me, I am well aware of the atrocities Kellogg committed. I suspect there are many more we'll never know of. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit... Alright, so Kellogg was over 60. Probably well over 80. How did he look like that, though? Any normal... He wasn't, like, a synth. He, he was more like a cyborg. But his cruelty became more apparent with every complete... Was, like, every bit of him, like, I synthetic? It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease hmm. your mind? Your mother... She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? She was murdered! Killed? Yes. Murdered? I'm not so sure about that. Still, I do regret never having known her. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. With what years you got left. <laughs> to ease your mind. Uh, the Institute. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. Uh... They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just... Give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? 
Isn't that what you want? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that, but... I, I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. I am definitely a person of second chances, so sure. All right. Thank you. Get, you. you get one more the chance. This is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. All right. Um. What's in here? Oh, pretty. So green. Oh, man, it's so green. Okay. Um. Before I take care of that stuff, though, I need to go to. Uh, upload encrypted message on the Institute terminal. Where is the other thing? What? Where? Uh. Hmm. Almost done. Bioscience. To tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. Sputton? No. All right, I need to go into the Institute of Bioscience. I need to find that vial of, um, I forgot his name's office. Okay, let's see. I have no idea where I'm going. This looks like a storage room rather than anything else. Oh, Jesus, I don't know where I'm going. Might as well get as much ammo as I can from here. Cauterizer? Oh my god, why is this pla- God damn. He's big. Oh. This might be his office. Click. Yes. I thought that was just a normal sliding door. Okay, I don't know where I went. Holy shit balls! Uh, where am I? Um, I'm quite confused. Uh, there is a dead synth here. Kind of worries me. Just a tad. Click. That's it. Drinking glass, file cabinet, telephone. Fusion cells. Thank you. Uh, what about this? Stimpack, purified water gut. Okay, let's keep on going. Uh... Ah! Ooh! Why? Perimeter movement 
Incident detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. Ow. Things hurt. Standing down. I gotta reload, fuck. All right, took care of that. Um, I have no idea what the hell's happening here. Okay, let's go through this. I didn't even re- I, I didn't oh, even- no. Wow, okay. Deactivate the turrets. I didn't even know I'd be having to deal with this sort of stuff. I thought I was just gonna have to- I thought I was just gonna be able to go into the office. Alert level Bravo. Scanner's clear. I need my helmet. That's what I need. No wonder I'm dying. <laughs> okay. Let's go over to my apparel. Helmet. Uh, wrap around goggles. Under glue. Scanner's detecting sentient life. Alert level elevated. I'm about to die. Uh, I can't move. What the shit? I'm dead. Okay. I don't think I'm going back there right now. <laughs> uh, that was weird. I don't know what was up with that. I don't know why I was going there. I don't know what was in there at all. I hope that's not a way I have to go. As for right now, I'm gonna head back. Cause, to be honest, I really don't wanna have to deal with all that shit right now. Um. Hmm. Let's go over here. Gotta be able to find his office at some point. Oh! This looks nice. Very clean, very green. Oh. Oh, everything's so nice. Okay. I need to find this thing of his. Let's use this terminal. Uh. Synth Zoology? Oh my god, this is so hard to read. Um, Haldron. I do believe... Was Haldron the name of the guy? Virgil, that was his name. Uh, hmm. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, let's, let's go through here. Where is this? Whoa, shit. This place looks a bit cleared out. No, I didn't need to take that, but oh well. I can't open that door over there. This area looks old. Not like the rest. That's weird. Stim pack. Hmm. 
Okay, I guess I'll just go through these doors. Um, hmm. Just spread my radiation everywhere. Damn it. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. You're here. Glad you made it. Yeah. These are synth gorillas. Oh man, I would hate to see what a gorilla would look like after it's been radiated. <laughs> that must be scary as fuck. We're all looking forward to working with you. Uh-huh. Please resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Okay. Okay, I guess I won't talk to you either then. Oh, this is the way I came in. Okay. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warren. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnant oh my God. of the past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Director Holdren seems very taken with you. Alright, I'm trying to talk to you, though. Isaac. Isaac. Carlin, talk to me. Dr. Holdren, I was told you were looking for me. Yes. The retrieval team supposedly arrived with the surface sample. What state is it in? Unfortunately, there's been too much harm. Oh, my God. From preliminary testing, it appears the water radiation was leaked. All right, so I get the feeling that I do have to go in that one area in order to get Virgil's stuff. So, I guess I will have to go and take care of that. Fev lab. FEV lab, I guess. I don't know what that means. Um. Okay. So, I guess I will take care of this next time. But until then, please like and favorite, please share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe on the way out. This is Cyberwolf of Cyberwolf Games. Signing off.